On day one, I spawn in as a baby mutant dragon. Whoa, I have three heads? As a mutant, I had an urge to attack people. I looked down and saw a giant village with a bunch of citizens. I flew down and got to work. I killed one of the villagers and realized that I had a sick mutant ability. Whoa, I used it and acquired more and more of their precious souls. With each soul, I was getting more hearts and becoming stronger. I had 10 now. A mutant dragon? Impossible! Who is this guy? Enough. I shall capture you and finally rid the world of the mutant species. The crazy scientist then began to use his gadgets on me. Ah! They hurt a lot. Oh, I have to get out of here. I tried flying off, but he shot me to the ground. Perfect. You are coming with me. On day two, I woke up in a cell. All around me was a giant laboratory with a bunch of other mutant mobs. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. Now that all the remaining mutants are captured, I must exterminate you at once. The world cannot know why you were created in the first place. What was this guy hiding? All of this made me so angry. Because of my rage, I use a new ability destroying my cell. Impossible! Seize them! The scientist men started to swarm me, but I started to fly above and attack them. Because of the fighting, my mutant attacks seemed to be destroying the other cells, letting the other mutants out. They started to destroy everything before running out of the lab, escaping and destroying everything in their path. I think it's time I go too, and started flying out of the lab. You beast. I will destroy you all if it's the last thing I do. On day three, I flew around the world and saw countless villages and towns celebrating. We are liberated from the freaky mutants! Celebrate! What? They want us mutants gone? As I was flying, a weird-looking mutant appeared in front of me. Ah! Who are you? I am a dead spirit known as the Mutant Overlord. I have chosen you to save the mutant species. Wait, so you're not alive? Why would you choose me? The Overlord explained how mutants are close to extinction, and it was up to me to save everyone. He then brought me over to a clear part of land and told me that it was important to build up a base of operations. Unite the remaining mutant beasts. Each shall grant you a special ability to bring you closer to your final form. Okay, but... But why did you choose me? You gotta explain more. In time, you will find out our connection. But for now, get to building. He threw me down some nasty looking gear to get started. I did as the overlord said and went to work. Once I went out and acquired some resources, I made a starting house for me to stay at. Just a couple more blocks and done. All I need to do now is find the other mutants. I then heard screams and roars in the distance. I think I may have found the first one. Time to go see what the commotion is. On day four, I arrived at what looked like a factory of sorts, but it was partially destroyed. <laughs> I think I know why. And saw the mutant zombie destroying everything. There were more of the hazmat men there fighting against him too. Take him down. I flew in and helped my mutant friend. Together with my mutant claws and his mutant ground slams, we were able to take them all down. I looked around and noticed that the zombie was destroying a base that was owned by the scientist from earlier. He must be doing it for a reason. I decided to help him and together we destroyed it as well as defeated a few of the remaining workers. I found a mutant and collected a few more souls. Nice. I can tell that the zombie was happy that I helped. Because of it, something happened, and I grew into a full-size dragon. I gained a new ability, a dragon breath. I also had five more hearts. I guess the overlord was right. The more I collect, the stronger I get. Thanks for help, scientist. He is. He doesn't want the world to know why we were created. And we need to get to the bottom of that and figure out exactly what he is hiding. You will find out nothing, you disgusting animal. Keep course. You have no idea what is headed your way. It was day five, and we were making our way back to base when the mutant zombie stopped me. Why we not liked? I'm not sure. All I know is that the entire world wants our species destroyed. The zombie went on to explain how he was captured and separated from his family. They took him in a facility and ran a lot of tests on him. May never see family again. So you were a regular zombie before? How does any of this add up? I can see how bummed out he was. The mutant zombie shook it off though and told me he could take me to where the facility was. Let's do it. We arrived thanks to the zombie's directions and made our way 
in with brute force. After we wiped out all of the men, we went to searching. We found a large room with what looked like more testing subjects. I can tell my mutant zombie friend was very uncomfortable being here. So I looked around while he stayed back. I found a container and inside of it was a sample vial that was named Chemical X. What could this be? I couldn't answer that right now. So I decided to free all of the zombies here and headed out. On day six, I brought the mutant zombie back to my base. He looked around and I can tell for the first time in his life, he didn't want to destroy something. New home. I expanded my house to be large enough to accommodate my new mutant zombie friend and the size of my new adult body. After building, I talked to my friend out in our yard. I wasn't meaning to show you, but I found this in the facility. No, stay away. He started to freak out about it. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Why are you afraid of this? This is what turned me into beast now. He told me that him and the other zombies that were captured by the scientists would be tested with this chemical. Most of them died on the spot, but him, he was one of the unlucky ones and turned into a full mutant monster. Me no remember much after. A rage filled me every day until you came and broke us out. I'm so confused. Why would the scientists want to rid the world of mutants if he was the one who created them? On day seven, I finally woke up from a full night of sleep. I looked outside and noticed that the mutant zombie was acting a lot more weird since I brought up Chemical X. He's hiding something and I need to figure out what. Hey, what aren't you telling me? Me not know. I can't help the mutant species if you don't help me, you know. The mutant zombie gave in and told me that he knew the location of where Chemical X was created. Created. He then threw me over a map that he stole from the facility and told me it should be at this research station. Thank you. I appreciate it. I went off and when I arrived, it was already mostly empty. I saw a giant door that looked really important, but when I tried to enter it, it wouldn't open. I turned a corner and saw a lonely scientist worker there. Ah, please don't hurt me, you beast. I won't hurt you if you tell me everything you know about that doorway. The scientist told me that he doesn't know anything. Only the higher ups were allowed in there. Fine. Have it your way. I took the scientist down and absorbed another soul. He dropped a GPS tracker. Maybe the place that this leads to can help me open the door. Whatever is behind it seems important, especially to us mutants. On day eight, I went out to follow the GPS tracker until I heard a loud explosion. What was that? I flew down and saw the mutant creeper. He was fighting against the scientist's men, but they were in huge mech suits. <laughs> I flew in and helped the mutant creeper out. Together with our special abilities, they stood no chance. I took down the final mech machine. Man, the scientist is throwing everything he has at us. Hey, thanks for helping me out. This world is wicked and must be destroyed. I somewhat agreed with the creeper. I mean, everyone hated us and wanted us gone without even giving us a chance. So why should we give them one? The creeper then walked over to me and gave me something. It was an explosion upgrade and I absorbed it. Look at that. I now can use explosions at will. That's sweet. In return, I have a base that you can stay at. Hopefully with our combined strength, it'll keep all of us safe. Sounds like a plan. While my new creeper friend made his way towards base, I decided to keep following this GPS. While I was, the overlord appeared in front of me. You have done well to increase your strength. I am glad I chose you as my champion. Chose me? He began to tell me that I was the only mutant that this scientist didn't create, but instead, it was the overlord that created me. Is that why I'm the only one that could hear you? But why? Why do any of this? Our conversation, though, was cut short. The GPS started to go off frantically. I looked back at the overlord, and he was gone. Great. I headed to the location, and once I got there, it looked like a normal warehouse. But when I entered, it was obviously a cover-up. I then found a room, and inside of it was a key card. This has to be for the door. Nice. I picked up the key card, but as soon as I did, the alarm started to go off. A bunch of men then ran in and started to fight me. I used my new explosion to push them all aside and headed out. On days 11 to 12, I returned to the research station. Here's the door. Time to find out what's behind all of this. I opened it, but as soon as I did, I got blasted with the weapon and was sent to the ground. Ah. You stupid dragon. You have ruined everything I've worked for. Once I take you out, I will make sure the rest of your mutant friends are gone as well. He began to shoot at me with the science equipment, and they hurt a lot. Every time I tried to get close to him, he was protected by some kind of force field. Wait, why would you create us if you want us destroyed? Dr. 
Dr. Mundane stopped and seemed shocked that I knew his darkest secret. All of my life, all I wanted was to be a known scientist. I wanted a breakthrough. What better way to do that than to help everyone with one of my inventions? A serum that would improve the human body and make it godlike. But with every experiment comes trial and error. One of my tests caused something horrible. The first ever mutants to exist. I tried to contain them, but they broke out of my lab. After that, nothing was the same. They spread like a disease, and the world hated them. If they found out I was the one who created you guys, I'd be done for. So instead, I shall end you all and be known as the scientist who saved the world. I will get my dream one way or another. You won't get away with this. I promise you that. You don't even know what I have planned. The scientist didn't listen though, and began to shoot at me with his gun. He's too powerful. I gotta get out. Now, I flew off while he shot at me from a distance. On days 13 to 14, I made it back to my base. Extremely weak. I can't wait to just relax. Back off, kid brain. Oh yeah. They were both fighting each other, and because of it, they were destroying the base. Hey guys, stop it. They didn't listen though, and kept fighting. I had to use my mutant ability to finally split them up. That is enough. The reason we are so close to going extinct is because we never know how to work together. He started it. I don't want to hear it. Now come on. We are a team. Let's fix this base and learn how to get along. They did as I commanded and both worked together to rebuild the base. After that, I helped the mutant creeper build up a home. The scientist is surely up to something. Something big. But what? I noticed that the mutant creeper wasn't in his house. So I ventured out to go and find him. And and there he is. He was out hunting chickens in the field. Hey, you can't be out here by yourself. You don't want that scientist to find you. I was hungry, and I need to find the other mutant creepers. I can't let us go extinct. The creeper told me that because he became a mutant, he was just like any ordinary creeper, sneaking up on people and blowing up in their faces. I was about to sneak up on another victim when I spotted a strange creeper. I tried to see what was wrong with him, but he touched me, and suddenly I changed. He told me that he looked and felt different. Every time he would try to get help from the other creepers, they would suffer the same fate. Eventually, that scientist caught me and took me to a strange place. I asked him where, and he dropped me a map to the location. I saw a village nearby and asked if the creeper was still hungry. He said yes, and I told him that I had an idea. The mutant creeper and I raided the village and started devouring citizens. I noticed that while I was devouring them, I was getting stronger. This is great. The more souls I devoured, the stronger I became. On day 17 to 18, I made sure that the mutant creeper returned to base. And then I followed the map to the factory. Along the way, the mutant overlord appeared before me. Good. The stronger you become, the easier it will be to free and save our mutant brethren. Okay, enough of this. It's time that you start talking. Why is it that you chose me to be the savior of the mutants? The overlord was shocked, but knew it was time he told me what he was hiding. Mutant dragon, I was the very first mutant in the world to exist. Instead of a success, the scientist called me a failure and tried to destroy me. I escaped before he could do anything, and the world hated me. They called me a freak. He told me that Mundane made the world hate mutants to distract them from finding out the truth. I tried to fight back, but Mundane found me, and he killed me. My soul ended up finding you, creating the first mutant dragon. That's why I'm here, and why the Overlord wanted me to save the mutants. Thank you for telling me. Let's go get our species back. I made it inside the factory, and found mundane scientist guards working on something. What could they be building? What's the progress on the machine? Speak of the devil. Dr. Mundane showed up. I gotta make sure to stay hidden. We are 25% done with it, doctor. It'll be ready very soon. Good. Soon we'll be able to get rid of those mutants once and for all. That's not good. I wanted to go in and fight off the scientists. The last time, I almost died. I snuck out of the factory knowing I needed to get stronger. On days 19 to 20, I decided to gather more materials to upgrade the place. I took down some trees in a nearby forest and collected the wood left over. There was a cave nearby that was full of iron, so I mined a good amount of it. This should help me out in the long run. When I left the cave, I suddenly heard a loud roar, when suddenly a hoglin came charging at me. Ah! 
I quickly dodged the attack before he could hit me. Hey, buddy, uh, watch where you're going. I'm a mutant too. The mutant hoglin seemed to calm down and told me that he just wanted to go home. That evil scientist took me away from my family and turned me into this monstrosity. The hoglin was worried that Dr. Mundane might go back to the nether and take his family back. Maybe if I take him back to the nether, he can keep him and the other mutants there safe. I'll take you back to your family. Just show me the way and I'll make sure you're safe. The mutant hoglin thanked me and I followed him to the portal leading in to the nether. On days 21 and 23, the mutant hoglin led me to a warehouse. He told me that the portal was located inside. There were probably guards inside, so we should sneak inside and he blasted the door open and charged inside. Doing that works too. There was a massive portal at the end of the building and guards blocking the entrance. I used my mutant breath on the guards, defeating them. A guard then tried to charge at me, but the hoglin charged in and knocked him aside. I appreciate the save. There was one guard remaining, and I decided to turn him in to a snack, devouring his soul. We went through the portal and entered the nether. The mutant hoglin then looked around, and we arrived at a house. His family was still there, thankfully, and was excited to be with his family again. Thank you for returning me to my family. I, uh, couldn't have done this without you. No problem. Us mutants gotta stick together, right? As I was gonna leave, a power from the mutant was transferred over to me. My breath got stronger. I guess I saved another mutant from the scientist's doom. I thanked him and went out of the portal. I then used my mutant ability to destroy it. The mutant overlord was waiting for me outside of the warehouse, and he seemed pleased. It was a good thing that Hoglin gave us this catalyst. This will be a huge help to you. He then told me that this catalyst will help us mutate more of this world. Bozo, we're that much closer to having a mutant world. The Overlord converted the catalyst into a new upgrade for my mutant breath. According to him, my breath was now able to mutate others? Not all people, but the weaker ones. Sweet! Now that I've gotten stronger, I think I'll go pay Dr. Mundane's underlings a visit. I snuck my way inside of a factory and couldn't see Mundane anywhere. Good. Time to give my new mutant breath a trial run and caught them by surprise. I blew my mutant breath at them and converted the minions into something more appealing to me. Mutants, you no longer serve the scientist, but serve mutant kind instead. Go and return to my base. The mob left the factory and I decided to see what they were working on for the scientist. I came across a paper nearby and collected it. The plans revealed that Dr. Mundane was creating a device to wipe out all of the mutants. I ran out of the factory and used my mutant breath to destroy the place. On days 27 to 29, I returned to base and revealed to my fellow mutants what Dr. Mundane was up to. That monster is making a device to wipe out all the mutants. Yeah, me know what to be mutant. You're right. None of us ever asked to be this way. It's Mundane's fault that any of this has ever happened. And now he won't even let us live in peace. Suddenly, the Overlord mutant appeared in front of me. Do not worry, my champion. We can use this to our advantage. Who the heck is he talking to? It's something he does calls him mutant overlord that guy's weird it seems like the dragon was here doctor don't worry about the dragon and proceed as planned soon i will get rid of these freaks once and for all after going over the plan with the Overlord, I flew out of the base. The Overlord told me that Dr. Mundane wasn't able to destroy all of Chemical X, so the facility must still be out there somewhere. If I was able to find enough of it, then I could use it to mutate everyone in the world at once. There. That's where the bunker is. I landed on the ground and entered the bunker. So this is the place where you were created? Yes, folks. This is where I was born. The entire place was abandoned, and there was no sign of life anywhere. This place has changed a lot since I was last here. Look, there's something on the ground over there. I collected the paper, and it revealed that people who were in this lab have relocated. I need to find a location and retrieve Chemical X. The sooner I find it, the sooner I can save all mutants. On days 33 to 35, I made my way out of the bunker, and it was about to fly off when I saw an Enderman being attacked, and not just a regular one. I could tell that he was a mutant like me, and he was being attacked by the scientist's men. Back off! 
He teleported from the charging minion and ended up in front of me. Whoa, watch where you're going. It's the mutant dragon. Good. You freaks are coming with us. Dr. Mundane needs you. Needs me? What does that psycho want with me? Whatever the case, it's not anything good. The Enderman and I decided to work together and get rid of the minions. The Enderman stared at a minion and froze him in place while I took him out. The other minions try to attack me, but the Enderman teleported behind them and got rid of them. Phew, thanks for the save. But what's the deal with these minions? They were so dead set on taking one of us. Well, I was out here enjoying my freedom when out of nowhere those idiots came and tried to capture me. He told me that he escaped from a facility not far from here. I happened to find this in there. Maybe you can use it. The mutant Enderman then handed me a skeleton armor set and it gave me 10 more hearts. Sweet, the overlord was right. Each mutant is making me stronger than I was before. I thanked him for the added protection, and he led me to the facility. We arrived, and it looked like we were not alone. Dr. Mundane was there. Thank you for bringing yourselves to me. Now I can continue my work. I told the Enderman to run, and he teleported out of the facility. His escape doesn't matter. All I need is you. Once I figure out the right formula, it won't matter where you are. You'll be gone no matter what. The scientist tried to stun me with his laser, but I was able to dodge it. Not this time. I tried to use my mutant breath to infect him, but it didn't even leave a scratch. The overlord was right. My breath wasn't able to do much to the strong just yet. Dr. Mundane then pulled out a rocket launcher and fired it at me. The rocket knocked me to the ground and took most of my hearts away. You need to get out of here, Fozo. You're not ready to face Mundane. Stay out of this, Overlord. I can still fight. Did you just say Overlord? Figures. My greatest failure is helping you. Bozo, we need to go now. I gathered the rest of my strength and flew out of the facility. Coward! On days 39 to 41, I escaped from Dr. Mundane and made it back to base. When I got there, I noticed an extra house was built and the mutant Enderman was there. The mutant zombie and mutant creeper told me that they built a house for our new guest. The Enderman told us that you saved him and sent him here, so we decided to make him feel more comfortable. Nice. It was good to see that everyone was starting to get along. I soon realized that working together is the best way to stop that scientist and stay alive. I gathered everyone around the base and told them that we need to find Chemical X. It's the only way that we can turn these things around. Spread out and search everywhere. If you find any trace of it, bring it back and let me know. The mutants agreed with the plan and immediately left the base in search of Chemical X. Since you have all failed to capture the dragon or Enderman, I've decided to hire men more suited for the job. I'm tasking you men to find and capture the mutant dragon. He's the key to finishing my machine. Sir, yes sir! While I decided to search for Chemical X, I decided that it would be good to keep spreading the mutation throughout the world. I spotted a town nearby that was full of people, a perfect spot to increase the mutant kind. I landed at the center of the town, and the people were surprised and angry to see me. Go away, you freak! You don't belong here! The crowd was booing me as well. You know what? I think you guys should join the party. I took a deep breath and used my mutant breath on all the citizens there, converting them into mutants. Now that you're all just like me, I command you to go out and cause chaos throughout the world. Eh, uh, this is bad. These freaks are going to survive in this world if this keeps up. I need to warn Dr. Mundane. And where do you think you're going? I surprised the minion, and he was scared to move. If you know what's good for you, tell me where Chemical X is. Chemical X? Dr. Mundane had us destroy that. I roared and scared the minion even more. Don't lie to me. I know there's still some of it left. The minion finally told the truth and gave me the location of where Chemical X was held. A frozen lab, huh? Good. Thanks for giving me this information. Now. Can you please let me go? Of course, but as a mutant, I converted the minion and flew off towards the frozen laboratory. On days 45 to 47, I was flying in the sky and spotted the lab around an icy tundra. I landed and spotted a confrontation happening outside of the place. Snow golems are being harassed by some of Dr. Mundane's men. Leave us alone! We've done nothing to you! Not until we're done with our experiment! As I walked up to them, immediately they were scared of me. The minions ran away, and I was pretty bummed that they did. I really wanted to convert them into mutants. I asked the golems what the problem was, and they told me that their leader had been taken inside that lab. Don't worry, I'll bring your leader back. I destroyed the walls with my claws, only to find the leader was trapped 
inside of a cage. It looks like they turned into a mutant too. Yes, but not by choice. Well, how about we get you out of here? I released a snow golem from this cage, and we returned the other snow golems. The golem leader thanked us for freeing him, but didn't seem happy about it. As long as this lab is here, those scientists will never stop bothering my people. I decided to help the snow golem out by destroying it. Why don't you join me and help me stop Dr. Mundane and his men for good? The snow golem declined my offer and thought that it was best to stay with his people and protect them. Even though I can't come along, take this. I think this will help you on your mission. He dropped me a smash hammer. I used it and it was extremely powerful. I thanked him and left the tundra. As I was flying back towards base, the mutant overlord appeared. He was proud of me for helping the other mutants and spreading our mutation. This is all good, but none of that will matter if one day completes his potion. You're right about that. We have to find Chemical X to boost our advantage. I made it back to base to see if anyone had any leads. I went inside and the mutant creeper was back. He seemed spooked. Did you find any clues of Chemical X? I tried to find some, but I immediately got attacked by some foot soldiers. The creeper told me that while he was walking through the forest, the soldiers attacked. They told me that Dr. Mundane sent them to capture us. I thought they were just more of his minions, but these guys were different. They were more coordinated. The foot soldiers tried to hit the creeper with trank darts, but he managed to escape them. That's why I came back here, to hide from those guys. If mundane soldiers came after you, they're gonna come after everyone else. I need to go out and find them fast. On days 51 to 53, I flew off to look for fellow mutants. I surveyed the ground and found a mutant enderman being attacked by the soldiers. Get away from me, you jerks. Hey, leave him alone. I used my new hammer to knock the soldiers away. The mutant dragon? Good. Dr. Mundane can now have both of you freaks. We'll see who's a freak once you become one of us. I then blew the soldier with mutant breath. I expected him to become a mutant, but he was unaffected. What? How are you still normal? Bozo, look out. The enderman teleported in front of me and got shot by the soldier's trank dart. No! I can't move. But you're gonna pay for that. I used my smash hammer on the soldier and was finally able to defeat him. If these new soldiers are this strong, they're gonna be a big problem later on. The Enderman was able to move again and we quickly left the area. I think the coast is clear. You need to get back to my base and stay there. It's too dangerous out here. Before the Enderman left, he told me that he found a secret bunker deep underground. It's not that far from here. And that could be where they're housing Chemical X. I thanked him for the information and headed for the bunker. On days 54 to 56, I found the entrance. The bunker was completely dark and hard to see inside. I needed to be careful walking through. I don't need to draw any unwanted attention. As I went deeper into it, I saw a light nearby and walked towards it. I could hear voices from a distance, so I walked slowly. I looked around the corner and spotted Dr. Mundane talking to his minion. Don't still lost it to Chemical X. Doctor, every last drop is in the vault now. Good. And since I'm the only one with the key, no one will be able to get it. The mutant enderman was right. This is where Chemical X was moved to. Now, I just needed to get the key from Mundane. I decided to sneak out of the bunker to come up with a plan, but I was shot by a trank dart. Ah, uh, foot soldier? Where did you come from? I can't move. This is Agent 5. We have the subject. Oh no, I'm starting to pass out. No, no, no! Why won't this dragon just die? Huh? I woke up and found myself in a cage. Dr. Mundane was there, and he didn't look very happy. Where am I? You're in my lab, of course, and I've failed another test on you. Test? The scientist told me that he's been experimenting on me while I was unconscious. I've given you about five different potions to kill you, and none of them work. That's because he wasn't made by you. The immune overlord appeared in front of us, and the scientist wasn't pleased. Wait, you can see him? I'm not crazy. Experiment on him all you like. You'll never find the solution to killing us. Um, you're not helping me out here, Overlord. I was able to kill you, though, so eventually I'll find the solution. You killed my body, sure, but you didn't kill my power. Suddenly, the mutant Overlord used an energy blast to destroy my cage. Dr. Mundane was shocked, and the Overlord knocked me away with another blast. How did you- No time to explain. We need to leave. 
On day 60 to 62, I returned to the base and found that everyone was back there. It was a relief to see that everyone came back okay. I asked the mutant zombie what he was up to when we all split up. We went into town looking for Chemical X. Town people mean to zombie, so zombie destroy town. That's okay, I guess. You still helped out either way. This is all nice and good, but we're still missing a key mutant to stop Dr. Mundane. A key mutant? Yes, and he has something that would be very useful against the scientist and his men. We could use all the help we can get, so spill it. Who is he talking to? Just roll with it. You'll get used to it. That is so weird. The Overlord gave me the location, and I flew off in search of this mutant. On day 63 to 65, I was flying in the sky in search of this mutant skeleton. I managed to spot the skeleton at a graveyard and landed down to meet him. I tried to say hello, but he just freaked out. Leave me alone. The skeleton charged at me, and I quickly dodged him. Hey, what's your deal? I won't let anyone hunt me down anymore. He tried to shoot me with arrows, but I dodged those too. I quickly charged at the skeleton with my smash hammer and knocked him to the ground. Listen, the last thing I want to do is hurt my fellow mutants. He calmed down, but was still upset. I never wanted to be a mutant in the first place. I just happened to come across a strange looking zombie and ended up this way. Ever since the skeleton became a mutant, society rejected him and hunted him down for the sport. I told the skeleton that I understood his pain and that I was going to get back at everyone that mistreated us mutants. But I need your help in order to accomplish this. You have something that I need. The skeleton looked at his bow and arrow and gave it to us. Because of this, I felt stronger and my breath upgraded. I thanked him for his help and pointed him towards the base. Once you go there, you'll be safe. The skeleton thanked me and headed towards my home. Finally. Now your breath can mutate those much stronger. And though of lost souls can finally return to the land of the living. While I was flying, I spotted a town that was overrun with Dr. Mundane's minions. Why don't we give the bow of lost souls a test? Sounds like a plan to me. I landed in the middle of the town and surprised the men there. They all came rushing at me, and I shot a soldier with an arrow. Immediately, the soldier turned into a mutant. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I started shooting more men with my arrows and mutated them. The citizens were all shocked by this outcome. They're all freaks now, too. Is that so? Okay, freaks, go collect their souls. The mutants obeyed my order and attacked the civilians. The mutants started collecting souls and turned some of the citizens into mutants. You were right, mutant overlord. This bow of lost souls is very effective against Mundane's men. I told you, with these added souls, you have more than enough to bring me back. I flew off from the town and headed for the old ritual site. On day 69 to 71, I arrived at an undead temple to bring back the mutant overlord. Yes, this is the place. There should be a totem inside. I entered it and spotted a spooky totem in the middle. Now, use the bow of lost souls and shoot the totem. I fired an arrow at the totem, and suddenly there was a large flash of light. I opened up my eyes, and the mutant overlord was there in front of me. Is it you? Is it really you? The mutant overlord knocked me to the ground. Did not answer your question? Uh, yeah, but this is great. I was finally able to bring you back to the world of the living. You've done well, and now the real fight begins with Mundane. You're right about that. Let's head back to the cave. The other mutants will look forward to finally meeting you. Me hungry. Me should find people to eat. Search the place. No sign of the other mutants, sir. That is fine. Take the zombie and destroy the base. The dragon will come looking for his friend. We returned to the base to find that it was completely destroyed. The mutant creeper and enderman were there as well. What happened? They told me that when they arrived at the base, everything was like this. This must have been the scientist doing. He must have tracked our locations. Where's the mutant zombie? He was the last guy here when we left to get food. You don't think Dr. Mundane has him. That's probably the case. I need to go find out where he's taking the mutant zombie. But first, we should probably clean this place up in case he decides to attack again. Hold on a second. Who's this guy with you? Oh, he's the mutant overlord. They both looked shocked and couldn't believe he was actually real. Of course he's real. You didn't think I was just talking to myself, right? They both looked at each other. No! Of course. 
course not. The three of us worked together to build the base back up. I also built a home for the mutant overlord to stay in. He walked inside his house, and he seemed really weak. I tried to help him, but he said he was fine. I'm still too weak from coming back to life. You should be more than strong enough to fight the scientist and get that key. I believed in his words, and flew off to find the mutant zombie and Dr. Mundane. On day 75 to 77, I was flying in search of the mutant zombie. While flying, I noticed a giant machine was towering over the sky. Mundane's almost finished with his machine. I need to get Chemical X before it's too late. Suddenly, I heard the sound of screaming. That was the mutant zombie. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming. I followed the screams through factory and went inside to find Dr. Mundane and the zombie. He was conducting more experiments and hurting him. Drat, this potion didn't do the job either. Leave him alone. You stupid dragon. You never learn, do you? I tried to hit him, but his shield protected him. The scientist tried to hit me with his laser, and I quickly dodged it. I rammed him with my smash hammer and knocked him to the ground. Dr. Mundane got up and tried to shoot me with his rocket launcher, but I was too quick and stunned him with my arrows. I grabbed the key from the doctor and tried to free the mutant zombie. Won't work. Me trapped. Don't worry, buddy. I'll free you. No. Get chemical. Me find out. Okay, but I'll be back to get you out of here. I promise. I flew out of the facility and headed for the bunker. I landed in front of the bunker's entrance, and the scientist's men were waiting for me. The foot soldier shot me with a trank dart, but I was too strong for its effects. I used my smash hammer and knocked the soldier aside. More soldiers started to come out, and I knew that this was gonna be a long fight. I used my bow of lost souls and started mutating more of the soldiers. Dash it even the eyes. Attack! The mutant soldiers charged at the remaining ones and started mutating and killing them. I used my mutant breath to mutate the remaining soldiers and head inside the bunker. I walked inside and some of them tried to sneak attack me, but I quickly fired my arrows and mutated them. Now go and infect anyone else that's hiding in here. The soldiers left. I finally reached the vault and opened it with the scientist's key. <laughs> I did it! I finally did it! <laughs> now it's time to kiss all the mutants goodbye! On days 81 to 85, I went inside of the vault, and it was full of chemical X. I collected as much as I could and left it. Now that I have this, mutant kind will be safe and sound. I flew out knowing that I needed to go and free the mutant zombie. When I arrived, Mundane and his soldiers were nowhere in sight. Oh no. Was I too late? I ran inside the facility and found the zombie alone in his cage. Come on, buddy. You've got to get up and return to base with me. Can't go. Scientist, finished. But I have Chemical X. I can save you. Too late. Go save mutant. No! This is all my fault. I should have stayed and found a way to free you. I was heartbroken that my friend is now gone, but knew that the only way to avenge him was to stop Dr. Mundane. I flew out of the facility and headed back to base. I returned to base and told everyone about the zombie's death. Dead brain is gone. This can't be true. I told him that it was, and the creeper was sad that he was. I'm gonna miss him. Everyone was feeling down over his loss, and I couldn't blame them. I was the one who was hurt the most. Why don't we build him a memorial to remember him? That way he won't be gone for good. We all liked his idea, and went outside the base to build the mutant zombies memorial. Everyone took turns to pay respects, and I was the last one at his grave. I'm sorry, zombie. I should have stayed and saved you. The mutant overlord walked up, and told me not to blame myself. If anyone deserves the blame, it's Dr. Monday. Now that you have Chemical X, we can finally stop the scientist. He was right. This is all Mundane's fault. And with this chemical, I'll make sure to avenge the mutant zombie by mutating the world. On days 91 and 94, the Overlord and I gathered outside of his house to help me use Chemical X. With this chemical, I will fuse it with your mutant breath. That way you mutate people in a much larger range. He equipped the chemical, and I could feel my strength increasing. Now, with this enhancement, you can use your chemical breath on Monday's machine and turn everyone into mutants. I made my way out of the base when the Overlord stopped me. He told me that he was proud of my accomplishments so far and was glad that he chose me to be the champion for the mutants. None None of this would have been possible without you, Overlord, so thank you. Suddenly, there was a strange noise, and I could see waves coming down from the sky. The Overlord and I started feeling pain, and I wondered what was going on. It's Mundane. 
He must have finished making the machine. Hurry and stop him before he destroys all of mutant kind. I gathered my strength and flew off for Mundane's machine. I made it to the machine, and an army of Mundane's men were waiting for me. I used my new mutant breath and infected most of the soldiers. They couldn't infect the other soldiers because of the machine and died. More soldiers came charging at me, but I used my smash hammer to knock them aside. I used my bow of lost souls on the remaining men and flew up to the top of the machine. I made my way there, but felt weaker as I got closer to the source. Ah! I got shot in the back and knocked to the ground. I turned around to see it was Dr. Mundane. You foolish dragon. You've already lost. Just give up and succumb to the anti-mutant rays. I tried to attack him with my smash hammer, but I was too weak to deal any damage. You poor fool. Time to put you out of your misery. Mundane was about to shoot me with his laser, but I drew up my last bit of strength and fired mutant breath. You missed, idiot. I wasn't aiming for you. Mundane turned around and realized that I infected the machine. No! I opened my eyes and felt my power returning to me. The mutation worked. I looked around for Dr. Mundane, but instead I saw a monster. What in the world? He then knocked me away from the machine. On day 100, I landed on an abandoned platform and the monster jumped in front of me. This is all your fault. Dr. Montaigne? It looks like you finally got a taste of your own medicine. Once I get rid of you, I'll get rid of every mutant for good! This world doesn't need you! No, Mundane. This world doesn't need you! I tried to knock him back with my smash hammer, and it didn't deal any damage. Mundane tried to smash me with his bare hands, but I used my arrows to stun him. It looks like the mutation is becoming too much for Mundane to handle. The arrows were dealing a great deal of damage. I kept firing my arrows at him and knocked him to the ground. Mundane walked up to me and was ready to smash me to pieces. It's over. You're right. It's over for you. I hit hit Mundane with my mutant breath and finally defeated him. Mundane was gone and the world was completely turned into a mutant paradise.